Hello, welcome to the channel Biodesk. Today in this video, we shall discuss about class Mammalia. Mammalia, the name taken from Latin language in which mamma means mammary glands. Remember, mammary glands are those glands of the body which are functional in female individuals and these are milk producing glands. The term mammalia literally means mammary glands which are essentially found in female individuals of this group. The milk produced by these mammary glands are fed to their babies. So these are functional in female individuals. Mammals are the most highly evolved and the most important group of animal kingdom including humans also. Mammals evolve from some carnivorous reptiles in Triassic period about 225 million years ago. Today they are the most dominant land vertebrates on earth. This group includes about 4250 species. Common examples are bat, rat, monkey, whale, dolphin, echidna, kangaroo and humans. Several others are there and remember these all are found in different habitats. Let us see the images of these common animals of class Mammalia. One is the horse, terrestrial, bat, flying, terrestrial, deer that has cursorial habit, fast running, chimpanzee, arboreal or semi-arboreal, dolphin, aquatic, rat, fossorial, living in burrows, and this is the image of sheep. So several individuals are there which are found on land, some in water and some others are flying. Let us see the general characters of class Mammalia. Mammals are mostly terrestrial, terrestrial living on land. So basically terrestrial while a few are aquatic or aerial. If you remember aerial mammal then bat is the example. Aquatic mammal whale is the example. In them skin is glandular having different glands, sweat glands, oil glands, glandular and the skin is covered with hairs. Locomotion takes place by paired limbs. Respiration means the gaseous exchange takes place by lungs only. All mammals are lung breathers, even whale and dolphin also lung breathers. Heart is four chambered having two auricles and two ventricles. RBCs non-nucleated. Certain exceptions are there. In camel, we find nucleated RBC. And one of the most important characteristic feature of all mammals, that is the presence of external ears and mammary glands. External ears. Here in this image, we are seeing a good diagram of that rabbit. Rabbits have large movable pinny, the external ears. Presence of external ear is the most characteristic feature of mammals and not only external ear, mammary glands also found functional in female individuals. Mammals are warm blooded animals. Warm blooded means homeothermic having fixed body temperature and these are mostly viviparous, viviparous giving birth to their living young ones. Exception exhibited by prototherians. Prototherians are primitive mammals, less developed mammals. Fertilization is internal taking place inside the body and development is direct means no larval stage. Free living larva not found in mammals. And especially the development is said to be uterine. Uterine means taking place inside the uterus of the mother. So inside the body 
and inside especially uterus so the development can be termed as uterine or as larval stage is not found it is said to be direct this is all about introduction and general characters of class mammalia this was for today we shall discuss some other topics in our next video so stay tuned for upcoming videos see you in the next one thank you